Good day everyone, Alice here from Safi Financial Network. Today is March 23rd, 2023. Here is S&P chart. Uh, sorry for uh, not uh, providing video yesterday. I provided video yesterday. I noticed that it was all recorded without any like uh, voice because my my uh, my headset seems like had an issue. So uh, forgive me about that. Uh, we didn't have video yesterday, but today we will have a video a compressive one and i'm gonna cover federal reserve meeting as well which happened yesterday so jay powell came to the fed session yesterday and said uh, basically they increased 25 basis and he was pretty hawkish and he just said uh, we're gonna have another 25 basis rate hike this year and probably in 2024 we will have 75 basis down so that's kind of like confused market because market and notice that Jay Powell has like anarchy in his mind that uh, you want to increase and then um, five months, six months and nine months after you're going to just decrease it 75 basis, which doesn't make sense. That's kind of like anarchy that market just uh, confused because of his wording. But today we had a very, very interesting news that Deutsche Bank, which is the biggest and best bank in Europe, is kind of like heading into credit default. And that's going to be the third bank in these days that it's kind of like in, uh, in domino uh, effect that uh, banks after banks after banks, they're just uh, defaulting in their uh, credit or liability or debt. So that's kind of like a concern the market. But today we had a very, very nice optic today, all of it up here. But last again, last the two hours of the trading session just came down because of the Deutsche Bank news. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, all in all, um, we are heading into recession. There is no doubt about it. Even if they said we are heading into soft landing or so, don't believe that. Don't fool yourself. It's like inflation. Every single time they are saying something, it's not true. So I don't believe them. And because the charts actually don't show that we are heading into soft landing, I will show you later. But here is S&P 5 daily chart. Stochastic wise, momentum wise, we are getting into overbought condition, bear reversal happening. However, we don't get a very, very strong sell signal from um, the other indicators. So based on the price action, we are heading into this trend line. So market just reacted very well today as well. So today we got a lower high here, but Right now, future market is in negative territory. We will see how it goes. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be have a weekly candle closed. So if we just look at it very, very quickly today. So weekly candle is doji. It's not bad, not good. So it's kind of like indecisive. But look at that. that look at the momentum here. Look at that. So momentum is getting back to kind of like over sold condition. And we are getting ready for another spike, which I believe March was very very multi months and everyone just uh, saw that and we expect this volatility but this bottom is kind of resilient right now so if you move back to a daily chart if we take out this pivotal point which is March 13 so that's gonna be um, very very ugly sell off I should say going down here to 35 to 3600 but if we hold this area and we take out this pivotal high here, which is March 22nd, then we are getting into a nice rally all the way up to 4300, 4250 to 4300. So we are in no man's land. I'm just uh, saying, hey guys, look at this chart. This chart after uh, basically in a year right now, this is the June 2022, August, October, and look at that. So market didn't go anywhere market is just doing the sideways consolidation and if you go to the weekly and monthly chart you will see the bigger picture is not that beautiful but we will take to take a look at that one in weekly analysis right now we are in no man's land so whatever you want to say it's kind of like a 50 50 just because we are stuck into very very choppy sloppy market but if you go to the technology and nasdaq it gives you better picture so let me just uh, pull out the nasdaq chart so here is the nasdaq daily chart and as you see here we had a very very nice bull flag here so this bull flag is triggered and we had a good rally today as well so yesterday it was ugly sell off going down but today we just come back 
and right now we are still above 12,700 so it's kind of like a consolidating I know the higher shadows there but it's consolidating and digesting the overbought condition if it consolidates here and digest the overbought condition that's going to poise this way for another rally to the upside so yesterday it got to 13,000 which is my first level if, if you zoom back here, this is the first level that I'm looking for. We got pretty close to here, but we had a very, very small divergence here between these two tops. Here is the price just getting above this uh, pivotal point. And right now, look at the MACD, look at the RSI. So divergence is clear now, and we are heading into kind of corrective move. So if we take out this pivotal point, NASDAQ is getting back to low 11,000. But if we hold this area and it just consolidates here doing zigzags, then we should see a higher high and another higher high is coming, like a 13,000 to 14,000, which ultimately I'm just looking for another spike to the upside, probably by end of May and June time. So after June, probably market again getting back to the very, very volatile uh, to the downside. But this is spring. And early summer, I would expect market get to the, to, uh, uh, the upside target for 2023. So this rally could last for two, three months. And I'm not expecting any crash or sharp uh, sell off, at least for now. If something changes, I will let you know. So moving on to the Dow Jones, here is the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, we had sell off yesterday. Look at that. So we got sell off, very, very ugly one. Today we had a very, very volatile day. By the way, S&P 500 SPY, which is uh, the ETF of uh, S&P 500, um, traded 120 million. So these days market is very, very volatile with a big volume. Yesterday it was 111, today 120. So these all these candles are trading in a high volume. So this is this this is not distribution, this is accumulation and we will see how it goes with the institution. If we rip to the upside, that's going to be very very rippy to the upside. If it goes to the downside, that's going to be very ugly and probably we will see another downside move to here. But right now, as I said, this is kind of like getting into a very, very decisive moment for the Dow Jones. This is a dynamic trend line. We just uh, got back uh, uh, below. Uh, we just got back here to backtest this trend line. So we had a backtest here going back up. So this is lower high going down. So this is kind of like an ABC, complex ABC corrective move to the downside. If it holds this area, that could trigger the upside move for the Dow Jones. But again, we need to get above this pivotal point, above this pivotal point, and above this pivotal point. Right now, we are not there yet. So we'll see how it goes. The problem that I'm talking about is here, yield. So bond yield had a negative day. Yesterday, negative yield and day. Today is negative day. A day as well so bond yield is heading to the downside right now it is obvious that this bear flag is getting back to probably sub three percent which is telling us hey federal reserve again what are you doing you shouldn't increase the rate you should pivot now everyone is looking for pivot even they are not looking for a pause or something because right now fed is above uh, the threshold right now and um, it seems like Powell doesn't get it but this bond yield uh, tells Federal Reserve when it was there it was like a very very late heavy Federal Reserve you are very late right now you are late again so you need to bring it down or you need to pivot unless something is broken and we know that when Federal Reserve goes above four percent something is broken there so this time banking system seems like it's very very cracky right now TLT bond had a positive day so it was almost uh, should say flat but it was negative going back all the way up to the positive this is a nice bullish consolidation this is going to be the best performer in 2023 2024 at least one of the best this chart is very, very favorable right now. I should say this is the bottom. This is the bottom in 23. I'm not expecting any price going down there um, unless Federal Reserve is going to increase another like 1%, 2%, which is kind of like madness, if you ask me. But 
anything can happen to pause or pivot and that's going to be a positive for the bond so bond market is very very strong right now it is forming a very very good bullish consolidation if you look at the weekly chart this is very very bullish as well so gold had a positive day today so gold had a positive day yesterday and today so it's coming back again just the nibble to the 2000 again coming back down right now it's 1994 93 and gold is getting back to the bull run i should say any pullback could be a buying opportunity for gold uh, 2300 2500 it's coming for end of this year if you ask me crude had a positive day early session but coming back down so crude just the uh, sellers are taking control above 70 dollar so we will see if it's just the dead cat bounce for another sell off to 61 to 63 or it could be a, do a double bottom going up but if crude get back to this uh, uh if crude get back to this uh uh, consolidation wedge that's going to be a very very positive sign because any pullback could be a buying opportunity again i think something crazy is going to happen with crude um in this may april i don't know it's going to be a war or something vix look at the candle very very volatile vix so it was a positive for day but uh, look at that so it goes to 25 then coming down to 19 so five dollar in 20 dollar assets that is very, very volatile, 25% a day. So this is very, very volatile as we call it as a volatility index, VIX. And uh, seems like market is in decisive moment. Lots of people are getting back to this because this is kind of like getting close to the buying property. Right now, I should say, let's wait because VIX can go down, even take out this pivotal point. If you ask me, for another spike to the upside. Right now, we don't have that fear to the market. I don't know what's going to happen, but gold is kind of like a new VIX. Dollar finally seems like a bottoming here in this wide range bar, which is kind of like a 102. So dollar is not that strong. Any pullback could be a selling opportunity. I don't think we are going to get there. So let me just remove this one because we had enough to the kind of like if we are getting close to first target or at least this consolidation area so let me just uh, clean this one still this area and this area could be upside target but i'm not sure if we get there anymore so any pullback could be or retracement to the upside could be a selling opportunity for the dollar i'm just looking for a lower low for the dollar is coming probably 98 to 99 so i'm just uh, looking for the downside and down move rather than to the upside some people are saying we're still uh should see another rally for the dollar yeah it could happen but i'm not sure if it's gonna take out this pivotal point moving on to some technology stocks apple today doji bar yesterday we had like triggered head and shoulder getting close to this area but today we had a doji bar nothing actually is a beautiful for apple right now i know lots of people are saying this is a nice rally yes this is a nice rally but right now seems like apple is getting to the top information especially when we're getting to this trend line if you ask me so this is very very decisive moment for the apple 163 to 165 that's going to be a decisive moment right now we are at 158 so if it gets above this and hold above this so that's going to be a very very positive action for apple and uh tackling to these uh to these pivotal points but right now it's getting back to here it's very very overstretched over uh overbought and we should see a pullback for apple again still i'm looking for this to be honest still i'm looking for this i'm not sure if we get there probably end of this year when recession is coming we can get back to this one there is no rush but right now apple is in in a good shape up there but i will see if there is a pullback or not so amazon had like a doji bar today it was like a flat amazon was positive open up with a gap higher right now it's consolidating consolidation is a good for this time being just because if it consolidates more it's going to tackle to 115 110 to 115 again to this consolidation area so this is going to be a target if it take out this pivotal point then it's going to be ugly for amazon so it can go down here this pivotal point is very very important folks very very important so and it's going to be like a pivotal point for the stock market as well march 15 march 13 to march 15 
it's going to be a very important meta had a very very nice uptick today but again rejected back off the off the top so uh, meta lots of news are coming uh, from TikTok, snap and those ones so i don't know about the news but if you ask me i told you about the best performer in technology words in fang stocks in 2023 and that would be meta just because this one is very very undervalued when it was there, I just post a video. Probably I will give you a link there. So this stock is very, very valuable, has lots of cash, and they're buybacking when it is undervalued. Right now, it is there above 200. So I'm not going to buy it there. But if it goes back down here to this gap, so that's going to be a great buying opportunity. Again, we are waiting for a nice level for valuable stocks. Microsoft today, um, kind of like a doji bar, Microsoft is getting back to this gap area and seems like it is due for correction. So if we take out this pivotal point, Microsoft can go down here. But this is going to be very, very uh, ugly uh, price action, I should say. It can happen. If you see the chart, there is a divergence here, of course. And also if you just... Uh, draw a line here there is going to be a resistance line which is kind of like a minimal but if it goes down here that's going to be a good buying opportunity and i should say it's going to be one of the best buying opportunity here around 230 to 240 uh, we'll see how it goes with this name right now it gets back to the top shadows the formation if it consolidates here and take out this pivotal point the upper part is going to be 300, 305 to 310. But if it doesn't take out this pivotal point, then Microsoft roll over. Look at this pivotal point because if it take out this pivotal point, it can go down to 230. Right now, my pencil is down. Google optic today. So 2% up, $2.23. Right now, Google is getting back to the resistance here. So this is a gigantic uh, bear flag. If you look at the weekly chart, you will see a nice bear flag here goes down. And uh, right now, Google is getting back to here. So this area is very, very important. 107 to 116 or 120. That's going to be the level for Google. So if it goes there, you shouldn't expect actually just uh, crossing over very, very easily getting back above 124. I'm not expecting this one again 2124 is very very important level as well so Google had a tough time to go up there but right now this pattern is kind of like a reversing QM pattern very very bullish but if I look at the upside the upside is very very uh, hard time for Google to get through so we'll see how it goes Netflix very very bullish action today 9% up to be honest surprise me but lots of sellers are there so Netflix you'll see lot there are lots of sellers there if it is uh, getting to 328 to 333 so that's going to be selling area again for Netflix for another deep down we will see how it goes but this is a very very marvelous move for Netflix $26 today Tesla um, this one getting back to this gap here so if you just uh, zoom in here so this is the gap around 192 to 195 and Tesla just got back there. I think Tesla, uh, the dead cat bounce is finished or done. So we should see a rollover uh, sooner or later. This one is coming down to this area. I'm probably going down more. Like, um, I don't know. I'm, I would be happy to be honest, see Tesla around 140 to 130. Then we can uh, buy another call option because that's going to be valuable. SMH semiconductor was the powerhouse today again so semiconductor is strong there is nothing wrong but look at that here is the wide range bar we just nailed this area as like a first target and second target just because this wide range bar coming after this uh, supply area so whenever we are getting there this wide range bar supply area you should see kind of like a resistance or hiccup and as you see here there are two shadows there so uh, I'm not expecting uh, this one is getting a uh, back above this soon it will eventually but not now needs to go down pull back to this wide range bar there are lots of buying orders there and also this gap as well so if you see this one is coming back down again getting back up to tackle this area so you shouldn't be surprised socks the same pattern here is the upper shadows there the same pattern 
there's nothing uh, special with this name. It's exactly the same analysis with SMH. TSM, nice. Uh, day today, so TSM 2% up, a doji bar because we are getting to this gap, lots of sellers there, but nice price action. So TSM formed a bear flag, but failed a bear flag going up. Right now we are getting back to the double top or coming down or we are just uh, consolidating here. So we'll see this one, buying area here, I'm not gonna buy here as well. So as you know my levels, I'm just waiting and I'm kind of like a patient investor. I'm just looking for a good level. AMD 2.77% up. So get back to above 100 level, reject it down to 100. So AMD, I think it's it's overstretched, overbought. This is a tree drive pattern, tree divergence tree drive pattern. So it's kind of like a candidate for a short position. I'm not getting to the short position, just semiconductors are very, very strong. NVIDIA, AMD, SMH, they're all strong. But if it goes down and uh, form the bottoming formation, this is very, very interesting sector, guys. Semiconductor, keep an eye on this. There are lots of good companies here for investment. NVIDIA, this is the topic formation. I just uh, yell it uh from two, uh, two, uh, 250 to 270 based on the monthly chart and look at that. So here, this area and monthly chart, this is a top information, guys. I'm not, I was expecting this one is rolling back here, still my notes there. So let me just uh, clean this one up and let me just clean it up here. But this name, I just want to put it here. This name, if we take out this pivotal point, Get into this gap and coming down sharply. This rally is very, very unexpected. This is a stop hunting rally, absolutely overstretched. Look at the bottom here, 108. Right now we are at 271. So more than 150%. Good for people who bought here, even bought here. But right now it is very, very overstretched, overbought pretty close to the all-time high. So just another $100, which is based on this rally. You can see this one is getting higher as well. But I don't like the rally, something like that. It is very, very unhealthy. And when you see something like this parabolic move, look what happened after that. So does it, when it lost the momentum, it goes down very, very ugly. So this is the nature of the any chart, not just Nvidia, any chart. Look at the rally here, goes down crazy. But right now, don't fight the momentum. Momentum is very, very strong, but seems like momentum is getting to the end for now for NVIDIA. Texas Instrument, wow, very, very choppy, sloppy, to be honest. Whenever I see this, I said, okay, it doesn't give me any information, to be honest. I'm really interested to see what you think about this name, but this is very, very valuable stock, but look at that. So stock doesn't go anywhere. It's, it's, it's just... There is no trend, nothing. It's very, very traders market. It's not investors market anymore. Lamb Research, this one is getting back up again. So Lamb Research, if you look at the levels, uh, we have this here, we have this here, but right now we are above this dynamic trend line. So as long as we are above this dynamic trend line, we are good. The higher level is going to be here. So this is very, very important level. I know lots of people are marking here 600. Yeah, that should be a good level. But the ultimate target for me is 642 to 661. So we'll see how it goes with the LAMB research. And right now we are just forming another lower high and shadows there. Lots of sellers there. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, if you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel. I think I'm done with this video and uh, we'll see. Tomorrow is a weekend, um, uh, sorry, weekly candle closed and uh, tomorrow weekend will be start, obviously. And we'll see tomorrow on the weekly analysis. Have a good one. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.